you need basic um, soldering skill to be able to attach all these wires there are other ones that comes with the wire you could just look for those ones that they are more simpler so you don't if you don't have any soldering skills you don't pass through this stress so you can just um, you know buy it and plug and play straight without having to do this um, soldering but I find these ones cheap as well as um, they are very tight they maintain a very good contact with the battery uh, I mean it's uh, it's pretty amazing at the amount of force you put so you are rest assured that your battery is making contact at all time so that's uh, one of the reasons and uh, cost is always um, you know a big deal for me because the the difference in the ones that are pre-wired and these ones are quite um, you know they are not negligible so i decided to go for these ones and see So this is the little I've got for now, I've got about four, so I have another one here to make it five but then I do not have this um, battery holder so I think this board can take about um, 12 so I will be able to test um, 12 batteries at a time. So all I need to do is um, you know, buy more of those things and um, lay it there once I charge the battery and i'll be able to you know test them to know the capacity and i'll be able to sort them and say okay this one will go for uh, immobility project the other one maybe power bank and the other one uh for you know lightning purposes whatever we can use it for so that's how this place is to you know know the capacity of each of these battery cells and um, sort them this is the operation of this uh, capacity tester it uses the resistors here to discharge the battery the measure the capacity that's how it functions and um, each of these batteries will be able to give me their capacity in milliamps milliamp power or um, amp power it's uh, it's a simple system two of these are done and um, this 838 million hams hour and this 720 million hams hour this one is still on and um, it's about uh, 550 one half hours of now and this this is already 1600 milligrams hour I see counting so this will be a very good cell this one yeah. we'll remove this and this okay so this one is done and uh, if you look at it, this is 2,702 milliamps. That is the highest I've got so far. And um, this is a very good cell, like I said earlier. If I didn't do this capacity test, I wouldn't know which cell is good, you know. I've shown you the one that I was having, you know, a little below 1,000 milliamps. That's one amp hour. And uh, imagine this one almost 3000 milliamp power so in order for you to select good cells this process is very very key so you don't just bring all manner of cells together and they will be misbehaving in whatever application you're doing so this is the best way to get it done 
this how you select good batteries from bad ones and um, it's a uh, one cell at a time it takes a whole lot of time and a huge effort so if you are able to harvest good ones then you'll be able to do the calculation to know if it's worth your time and effort and um, I believe I believe this this video the series of the battery the recycling the first one and this one has helped someone to see how to make use of or reuse the dead laptop batteries I'll be showing you the application of the good ones in subsequent videos uh, give a like if this is helpful to you I really appreciate you thanks thanks and see you in another one